so I'm back with the video. I got my mirrors. They're the spoon style mirrors, not the actual spoon mirrors. But uh, I got the door panel off. It's kind of tricky to take off. You have to um, take the little cup right here that you use to close the door. There's a screw in that, you take that out, which that's the easiest part. And there's a clip on this handle. And you gotta uh, push it out with like a screwdriver or something. Um, and then, uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, there's a screw right behind the door handle, right there. And that's a pain. And then there's another screw right here, I think, or right here. Uh, right here. And that's not a big deal. So we got the mirror. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking these off. Uh, so that you can't control them inside the vehicle. Uh, you can only use them by pushing them. Uh, what I plan on doing is taking these and making them flat so that it doesn't look like it's supposed to be controllable from the inside. Um, just kind of something stupid I want to do. Uh, once you adjust the mirrors, I'm going to be the only person driving the car, so they don't need to be adjusted again. Um, all you have to do is just take these off. Uh, you can probably do it with like an adjustable wrench. I got some sockets here. I don't know if these are even small enough. Uh, I think this is a 9. Yeah. Yeah, and a 9 is uh, too big. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just take an adjustable wrench. So I don't think I have any sockets smaller than 9 millimeter. And um, I'm coming off. Uh, I'll show you it when I get the mirror back on, and then we'll go through the steps of putting the door panel back on because it's super easy. Um, and then, and then you'll just follow the same, you know, step for doing the other side. Super easy. Um, I wonder what this hole's for. I don't know. Them speakers are. That, that sometimes this door panel is coming off and there's good speakers that are going to go in there. Um, I'm just going to get money first and stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a minute when I get the mirrors back on. Okay, so the mirror's on. Uh, it's not adjusted or anything, but the mounting hardware that they give you, I thought you had to take the um, studs out of the old one and put them into the new one But uh, them holes are way too small for that stud. And um, the holes here, here, here don't really line up. You know, here, here, and here. They just give you little screws. Um, I don't really like that too much. But, um, you know whatever and uh, it's not a high quality mirror but it is a mirror um, I can show you them I'm not really fond of them yet I hope I get used to them but um, they do look a lot better than uh, the other peeling ones and stuff so you can kind of see what that one looks like and then you got this one over here Pair them right there. This one's to come next. Um, but you guys can see how I did it in this video. Um, super easy to put on and off. Literally, I think anyone could do this. Um, it's not very hard. But um, those are the mirrors. The magnification on them is not the same as the stock ones, so that can be an issue maybe. But um, I think that they're different. They uh, look nice. Definitely different. And it looks good to me. I'll keep it. So. Thank you guys for checking this video out. Subscribe if uh, you do like where these videos are going. I think this one's my ninth now. Um, so, uh, we'll 
See you next time.